Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to give you a little update on the project that I'm doing regarding the battery for my solar farm and the crypto mining stuff. But before we get to that, just a friendly reminder, please share, like, and subscribe. It will help me out a lot and it will allow me to continue sharing with you the projects that I'm doing and also giving you any information that you might need when it comes to your own setups, your own projects. So please share, like, and subscribe. It will mean a lot to me. Today I wanted, like I mentioned in the, in the beginning, I wanted to give you a little update regarding the battery that I'm building uh, for myself. The reason for this is that I, I made a few changes to the design and there's a few reasons for that. But it's mostly because it has to be convenient for me because the more I put together batteries, the more I realize that some changes and upgrades needs to be done. But before I get to that, I just wanted to remind you that the battery that I'm building, it is for my crypto mining rig, meaning that it needs to be big, it needs to have a lot of energy. At the moment of the beginning of the project, it was supposed to be used as a buffer. Now, the more I look into it, I, I need to get at least five hours from it, uh, not only as a buffer, but actually as a battery. So it has to be big. And by big, I mean <laughs> quite big, at least at least 30 kilowatt of storage. Uh, that's the minimum. Uh, but to be able to do that, I need to make some changes. Uh, maybe some of you know, let me just change my screen, that, here you go. This is my current design right here. This battery has a, it's pretty good. People that are using it love it. It is easy to assemble, but it has a major drawback. And it's the, the way it's, it's been designed. It's the standoff, which is something like this. These are the standoffs that I use. And when you have a battery like this one, you need to print a lot of them. And by a lot, I mean a lot. Means that, let's say you have a, I don't know, 14S ADP module like this one. This is 20, but just, just to give you an idea. When you have such a big battery, uh, each standoff it's used for two cells, so basically it will be uh, four by times forty. A particular battery that is fourteen s and eighty p will have about forty standoffs per module, which means that I will have in total five uh, five hundred and sixty pieces. That's without counting the spacer, which is something like this. So each module has two, two spacers, like this one. It depends on the size. They also have many standoffs. So we're talking about 560 pieces. The battery that I'm trying to build, it's going to be way bigger than that. And how big? Well, about this big. Now, I was going to use this type of design. It's not going to be used anymore, but I'm going to give you the reason why. But just to give you an idea, this one, I think it's ADP also. And it was going to take a lot of time. And if I use my current design, it was going to be awful. So let me try to be fast here. Let me just show you what I want to do now. Like I said, this is the design that I'm working on. But I want to do something more like this. Let me just. As some of you may remember, this is my first design. This is actually my first ever model that I built myself. And actually, these are the PCBs that I was building back then here in my house. That is without going to any PCB maker. And the whole concept was simple. You will have like a sandwich you will have like two pcb panels that were held together by literally screws which are here 
you will have some type of spring, uh, a clip that had a spring on it, and everything was held down by compression. Now, up until today, anyone that has a battery made using that kit is still working, and none of them have any issues. Even I have a a PCB from that time over here. This is one of the sides. These are actually the fuses. But that design had a major drawback is that if one of the fuses pop, you will have to fix it. And some of my, many of them pop, you will have to replace the whole panel. The other issue was that this part right here, it's actually PVC panel or PVC foam. And if you held your, how to call that? If you held the, the battery sideways, the weight from gravity and the and battery, it will tilt it, and then some contact might, might be lost over here, meaning that you will not get, you will get resistant because there was not a, a full contact. So the reason I was looking back into this is this one one of the best designs that I think is out there. It's just that it had so many issues. That's why I kept changing and changing and changing. That's why. I went from that to this, which is not bad. It's just that it has way too many pieces. So for a 14S ADP, we need a hundred, around 560 standoffs like this one. It's no business for me. That, like, you know, I cannot do that. So based on my last design, based on the PCB, I came up with this. Let me show you. These is actually standoffs. They have the same size, but you can accommodate about 10 cells. Then you can actually, once your cells are attached, you can then assemble the whole pack like this. And one module will look like this. There you go. So it's basically the same thing as my first design, but we are using the new fuse, which is like this. So if one of the fuses pop, you only need to replace that fuse and everything else stays there. It is somewhat easier to assemble. And I actually have two of them here. I've been testing this around. And you can actually, let me change the camera. You can actually put them together like so, and then you can stack them as as much as you want. You know, if you need five rows, six rows, any one, any number that you need, you only have to add them to the bus bar. And if the bus bar is not long enough, you can always just add more bus bar so you can spread the energy. So some of the benefits that I see when it comes to something like that is that if you have let me just right here let's say you have three uh, spacers like this one like this then you can actually connect them and you will have your positive and then let me just and your negative so now you will have what using that model you will have a 30p uh, module but if you don't want that you can actually create a series using the same setup then you will have positive and negative. So it has so many advantages when it comes to how to build a battery, but for myself, it is just better because it would allow me to build a 14S, 80 to 100P, and then if that is not enough, I could just keep adding to it until I could find a number that it, it's fit for the projects that I'm doing. Um, my next video, we're going to talk about some of the upgrades that I did with the solar farm and the crypto mining. And I'm going to explain a little bit more um, why I need to make the battery the way I'm doing it. So this is just an upgrade. This is not a new design. It is something that is old, that it's best based on my, la on my first design ever, which is technically something like this. My first design was something like that. See, you will put your cells here and you will have clips here. But like I said, it, it has so many issues. And now we're just using 
the same setup, the same idea to, for something like this. So quick update. Just let me know what you guys think. And please consider sharing, like, and subscribe it. I know it's not a DIY video or a super tutorial, but like I mentioned before, this is me trying to share with you what I'm doing. Uh, not trying to overthink the videos and keep getting feedback from you guys. So as a recap, we are no longer going to use my actual design, which is this one. Where is it? Here you go. We're not going to use this design for my build. We're actually going to use this design, which is right here. Because I think it's going to be faster for me. This little piece actually takes just one hour to print. And since I have so many printers, I can print as many as them as fast as possible. If I were doing my actual design, those 560 pieces would take around 10 hours. That is why I'm making some changes. And some of you might say, but well, you're selling a kit. Well, how come you're doing something else? Well, that is just the way things work with me. Uh, I keep changing the design because I need to find a better and faster way to not only put together for someone that wants to put together a battery, but also for me to produce them. So if I'm going to spend 10 hours on 560 pieces, I might as well just short them around, short the amount that I need, and also get more by the time you get done with the 10 hours. How many more? Well, let me just show you. So a 14S 80P, sorry, 14S times 80, that's about 1120 or 1,120 cells, right? If you divide that by 10, it means that I need 112 modules for this one. If you divide that by six, I only need to do 18 uh, runs of the same thing. It means that I will get the same amount of pieces or for the batteries. Uh, maybe I'm doing that in a longer period of time. But remember, the 10 hours are only this. When you start printing a big battery using the big spacer, the, the one that is ADP, that's an extra three hours per side. And each model will have about two of them. So you need 14 times two. That's 28 times about 2.5 hours. But that's about 70 hours of work, that, which is it's quite a lot. If you divide that by six printers, that's 11 hours plus the other 11 hours. That we're looking at a full day, maybe two days. And I'm not always printing, uh, you know, continuously. I only print during the day because I need to keep paying attention to the printer, make sure everything is okay. But yeah, I don't want to go ranting of why I'm doing this or why or, or should I do it or not. I just wanted to let you know that this is the choice that I'm going with. And I already printed a bunch of them. I, could, I don't know if you can see them. There's a bunch of them that I'm actually doing. And i actually going to build a battery for my father-in-law. Uh, he has the first ever battery that was built using this piece. And he needs to upgrade, so we're going to change everything to that one. And we're going to just save those PCB for something else. And yeah, that's about it. That's uh, what I'm doing. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Please consider sharing. Uh, please consider subscribing. And as always, God bless you, my friend. Take care.